Hello and welcome to the first video demo for the new maestro.com web application. I've been developing this uh, during the last couple weeks in my free time uh, here in the summer. Um, I've been writing it in Python actually uh, and using the pajamas toolkit to uh, translate that Python code into JavaScript which actually runs the site. Um, now pajamas uh, the toolkit is a port of the Google web toolkit uh, basically does the same thing only the starting language for the Google Web Toolkit is Java. Pajamas uses Python. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and load the page, and you guys can see what it looks like. All right, as you can see, it's pretty basic right now. Um, over here on the left, we have the uh, the session status. Um, as you can see, no one's logged in right now, which is why it says guest here, and that is the uh, the generic avatar. Uh, you've got two options, uh, login and register. Uh, just below that, you have a list of the available page types. Um, clicking on these uh, will load different types of content uh, on the site. Now, for now, we just have the one uh, page type uh, news, which you see uh, displayed here in the center section. Um, the news feed will show probably 20 or so of the most recent posts, and you'll be able to go uh, back in time and see older posts as well. Um, now as you can see, this site borrows heavily from the Facebook look and feel. Um, I really like the Facebook uh, layout, which is why I've kind of modeled my site on that. I'm sure the colors and images and such will change uh, once this gets closer to release, um, but for now I'm kind of basing it on the Facebook look and feel. Uh, all right, uh, as you can see, there's just the one post, hello world here, and shows my uh, user avatar and timestamp here. Now the timestamps work uh, pretty much just like the Facebook timestamps. Um, you know, it'll say a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago, a few hours ago, or if it's been more than a few days, it'll say, you know, the date as it does for this. Um, here at the bottom, just basic 2010. Um, and links to validate the XHTML and the CSS. Um, now the site does support the notification icons that you would see here uh, to the right of the Maestro link and obviously it supports the navbar links uh, as you can see there's the home link here. Alright, so uh, I've developed a pop-up system that works kind of like uh, in terms of appearance the way the Facebook pop-ups uh, work uh, for example, if you were to send a message to a particular user, you would see a pop-up uh, somewhat like this. All right, as you can see, the pop-ups kind of blank out everything else on the page. Um, they prevent you from clicking on anything. Um, you're only supposed to interact with the pop-up uh, while it's open. Now, uh, the registration isn't implemented yet, which is why this pop-up is, you know, empty. Um, a couple things about the pop-up system. Uh, there's a pop-up class, a Python class, and all the specific pop-ups like the registration pop-up and the login pop-up um, subclass that login, uh, excuse me, that pop-up class. Um, cool, another cool thing about the, uh, the pop-up system, um, it supports queuing. So you could open several pop-ups at a time and the next available pop-up will open when the currently active pop-up is closed. All right. So here's the login pop-up, and you can see it actually has some content. Um, let me show you what it does uh, when you log in with invalid credentials. All right, so you see we get this error message, invalid username or password. Um, if you were watching carefully in this section here, uh, you would have seen a little uh, loading indicator um, that you know, basically shows to the user that the site is doing something. In this case, it was checking uh, the supplied login credentials against the uh, the user database. All right, so now let's see what happens when we actually log in with a valid username and password. All right, so here we are. Um, whenever the login status is changed, either being logged in to uh, no longer being logged in or no long, uh, not being logged in to logged in. Uh, whenever that status changes, the application reloads the page so that anything, anything that depends on um, the login status will get refreshed. As you can see here uh, on this post, we now have links for comment and like. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the like. That's a little bit too Facebook for me. Um, but there will be a commenting system. Uh, right now, these are just uh, stub functionality. As you can see, it just gives a little alert for comment and like. And then we can log out as well. All right, so that's pretty much it for now. Uh, the next things on the to-do list um, are registration, of course, uh, the commenting system, and the posting system. And I imagine uh, once I get those three things done, I will publish what I have to the live site so that people can start using it. Um, uh, one other thing, uh, you see the search box up here. At least in terms of uh, visual appearance, it works as you would expect, but the search functionality has not been implemented yet. So that'll be one of the later things that I do. All right, that's it for now. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.